Hey guys, thought I'd fill you in on my latest Radio Shack build. Um, recently I've gotten into playing around with different yeast strains uh, for my brewing applications. And I've been looking online and I saw quite a bit on stir plates and building your own stir plate. So I thought I would give it a shot. Uh, I made this one for uh, around 12 bucks with a few parts that I had from home. And... Uh, some some components from Radio Shack just to see what we're getting here uh, I have this 1000 milliliter flask that I picked up from a brewing supply company you can get them online fairly cheap too if you don't have one near you but basically what this does is there's a magnetic stir bar inside the flask right now I got this one from from McMasterCar.com um, this one's a one inch I got a five eighths inch stir bar as well but the one inch seems to do a much better job uh, stirring up and keeping a constant I guess you call it whirlpool in there I have two rheostat potentiometers and the reason I have two is because one wasn't wasn't slowing the fan down enough the internal fan I'll show you guys that here in a minute but as you can see I can crank both dials up and then I can get it so high that it kicks this magnet out which obviously that doesn't do any good so just to give you a look at the internals of this thing fairly simple I got this box it's a project box that you can pick up a Radio Shack um, I got the biggest one that they had at the time and I threw a four inch fan that I had just laying around from one of my old computers and what I did as you can see, I put the 2x4 under there and anchored it just on two sides just so it had more room um, to do the wiring. And I figured two points of, of holding would be just fine, and it is. What I did is I took a, a metal washer, uh, put it on the grinder, ground it down on the back side just to rough it up, and I took a piece of 60 grit sandpaper to the plastic itself, put some deep gouges in it, and I use Gorilla Glue just because that's what I had convenient and in-house. And it seems to hold up perfectly fine. I, I put a, a beer bottle cap on here and then I set a bottle of water on it just to give it some holding force for a couple hours until it's set up. And the magnet you see on here, uh, I took a couple busted hard drives from the IT guy at work took those apart and got some of the earth magnets out of those since they're pretty strong and I didn't feel like paying any money for what Radio Shack had. They were pretty weak. Um, the rheostat potentiometers down here, they are 25 ohm, uh, 3 watt potentiometers. And this switch I just had laying around in the garage and does the job just fine. And then the, the line coming out, uh, just an old charger. I think this either went to an old router or my Blackberry that I had. I don't know if you can see that too well, but it's it's 9 volts out, 1 amp. And you can really use anything from 6 volts to 12 volts out. I don't think it really matters as long as you slow down the speed close enough. But basically that's it. Hopefully uh, this weekend I'll test it out on some new yeast, yeast that I got. And I'll let you know how it turns out. All right, thanks.